today, I have a story for you kids. Ow, my sword. It's a story about freedom and truth and beauty. But most specifically, it's a story about love. The unrelenting constancy of love and hope can rescue and restore you from any scope. Here is a story of such love. Let me tell it to you. Take a seat, relax, and let your mind flow with the magic of my words. In the marmalade forest, forest, beneath the candy cane tree, trees, in a cottage cheese cottage, lived Albie. 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 Albie, the racist dragon. Part six. So all the villagers chased Albie, the racist dragon, into a very dark and very scary cave. And it was so dark and scary in there that Aldi began to cry. Great dragon tears. Which as we all know turned into jelly beans. Suddenly Aldi felt a hand upon his tail. And who should that hand belong to but the badly burnt Albanian boy. What are you doing here? growled Aldi quite racistly. I thought I killed you. No. You didn't kill me, Alby. I was just very badly burnt. And I found you safety, though I am still alive, though I am terribly disfigured. Laughed the boy. <laughs> Why are you crying? I'm crying because all the villagers chased me here. I think it's because I'm so racist. No, Aldi. That's not why. It's because you and I were different. And suddenly Aldi wasn't racist anymore. So they sat in the cave. Cave. Eating bubblegum pie, yum. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be. The racist, well, not anymore. Dragon.